Mutations that make people immune to pain. Individuals with the ability to remember every detail of their past in near perfect clarity. And remote tribes who have developed the ability to see crystal clear underwater. These are real human mutations that defy all scientific logic. Most of us know that when you open your eyes underwater, things get blurry. That's because the water and the fluids inside our eyes are pretty similar in density, which messes with how light passes into the eye. The result? blurry vision. But there's a group of people called the Moken who can actually see clearly underwater, even at depths of up to 22 meters or about 75 feet. The Moken live mostly on boats or stilt houses, only heading to land to trade for food and supplies. They don't use modern diving gear like masks or fishing poles. Instead, they spend a lot of time underwater, gathering resources from the ocean floor like sea cucumbers and clams. And over the course of generations, the Moken's eyes have actually developed the ability to change shape when they're underwater. They refract light better, making it easier to see things clearly underwater. Tests have shown that the underwater vision of Moken people is twice as sharp as Europeans. Sleep is a basic human need, and everyone constantly harps on eight hours. You gotta get eight hours of sleep while you're just crumbled to pieces throughout the course of the day. And eight hours is probably ideal for the majority of the population, but some people really don't need eight hours. Hours. There's a rare genetic mutation called DEC2 that allows certain people to function on just six hours or even less of sleep every night and not just survive on it, it's actually ideal for them. The DEC2 mutation affects the way their bodies process sleep, making them more efficient at getting the rest they need in a shorter amount of time. It's uh, quality over quantity. For most people, getting only six hours of sleep a night for a prolonged time can lead to some serious health issues like high blood pressure or heart disease, but people with this mutation don't have those problems. If you think you're one of these people though, you are probably not. This mutation is incredibly rare. It's found in less than 1% of people who even claim to have this ability. I usually only get six hours of sleep a night or less, and let me tell you, I don't feel great most of the time. Hyperthymesia is a rare condition where people can remember nearly every detail of their lives with perfect clarity, able to recall what they did on a random day years before. Keep in mind, I'm not talking about like your wedding or the day your child was born. Uh, if you remember those things, great, uh, but you probably should be able to remember those things. I'm talking about really detailed things like even what they ate for breakfast on a random day five years ago. It's like they have files in their brains full of footage of every single day of their life. Now this sounds like a pretty amazing ability, but it can actually be a double-edged sword. For some, remembering every single moment of their lives, especially the more painful ones, can be a bit overwhelming. Scientists are still trying to figure out how the brain is able to store and access all this information, but this condition is so rare that there are only a few confirmed cases. Imagine not feeling any pain, no matter how serious the injury. Again, this sounds like a real life superpower and I suppose it kinda is in a way, but like with most superpowers, there's a downside. The condition is called congenital insensitivity to pain or CIP and you don't really need to think about it much to realize that this can be a pretty dangerous condition. Pain sucks, but it is there for a reason. It alerts us to things that are harmful to us, so not being able to feel pain at all, well, it makes it much harder to know when you're injured or sick. People with CIP could break a bone or get an infection without ever feeling it. So things can be left untreated and then conditions can worsen. Even something as simple as stepping on a sharp object might go unnoticed and it can lead to infections. CIP is caused by a mutation that affects nerve cells responsible for sending pain signals to the brain. Researchers are also studying to see if they can develop new treatments for chronic pain through this. Condition. Most people worry about losing bone density as they get older, which can lead to conditions like osteoporosis and brittle bones, but for a small group of people, the opposite of true. Their bones just continue getting denser as they age. This mutation is found in the Afrikaner population, people of Dutch descent living in South Africa. It's linked to a mutation in a gene called SOST, which controls bone growth. Normally this gene keeps bone growth in check, but in those with the mutation, their bones keep getting stronger throughout their lives instead of weaker. If someone inherits two copies of the mutated gene though, it causes a rare condition called sclerosis 
osteosis, which leads to excessive bone growth. This can result in gigantism, facial distortions, hearing loss, but if a person, again, only inherits one copy of the mutated gene, they have unusually dense and strong bones. Again, this mutation is extremely rare, but researchers are studying it because it could, of course, help in developing treatments for bone-related conditions. Some people are naturally stronger than others, but a rare genetic mutation known as myostatin-related muscle hypertrophy takes strength to a whole new level. Myostatin is a protein that normally limits muscle growth in humans, but there are some people who are born with a mutation that reduces the effect of myostatin, which means their muscles keep growing without the usual restrictions. As a result, they develop extraordinarily strong and dense muscles, often far beyond what would be expected of a normal person. Apparently, Eddie Hall has this, but some people aren't really sure. I wouldn't be surprised, he's incredibly strong. Anyway, people with this condition don't really need to hit the gym for hours a day to build muscle. They're born with the genetic ability to just grow massive, powerful muscles naturally. Hard to see any problems with this one, but there are some downsides. People with this condition may develop joint issues because of the sheer size and power of their muscles. Imagine sharing your body with someone else and having to coordinate every action you make. That is the reality for people with polycephaly, a condition where a person has two heads. Or I guess you could say two people have one body. This happens when conjoined twins don't fully separate during development and sometimes the heads are joined at the neck or share the same body. It's incredibly rare with only 1 in 50,000 to even 200,000 pregnancies resulting in polycephalic twins. Usually they'll have control over half of their limbs, but it can get complicated. Each twin can control their own side, but both of course need to work together to move. Some people with polycephaly can walk, run, and even drive, but it's not always straightforward. Occasionally one of the heads might not have much control over the body, or not any at all. That's known as parasitic head, and sadly attempts to remove it through surgery usually don't work. Most polycephalic people fortunately don't don't survive into adulthood. So most of us see the typical seven colors in a rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. If you count more colors though, you may be someone with a rare condition called tetrachromacy. People with tetrachromacy have four types of color detecting cells in their eyes instead of the usual three. This extra type of cone cell means they can see way more shades than the average person. It can spot subtle differences in color that most of us just don't notice. One a famous example of someone with tetrachromacy is Australian artist Conchetta Antico. As you can imagine, her paintings are pretty vibrant, just full of color, and I would just love to see her work through her eyes. Photographic memory, also called eidetic memory, is something most of us have heard of before, and people are pretty liberal about throwing this term around too, but it's a lot more rare than people realize. It's the ability to remember images, even entire pages of text only after a brief glance. Similar to hyperthymesia, people with photographic memory can recall every little detail as if they're looking at a mental snapshot of a moment in time. Again, some people claim to have photographic memory, but true photographic memory is incredibly rare, and experts aren't totally sure how it works. What scientists do know is that people with photographic memory seem to have special neural processes in their brains that just allow them to encode and retrieve visual information much more efficiently than others. Some brain regions responsible for memory and visual perception are more active than people with this ability, but no one fully understands the exact mechanics yet. Aging. Unfortunately, it happens to all of us. All we can do is drink water, rub our faces with lotion, sleep better, and hope for the best. But for a few lucky folks, the typical signs of aging, like wrinkles and gray hair, don't show up as quickly. And I'm sure a bunch of you are going, well, duh, obviously that's true. But I mean, not nearly as quickly. This condition, known as delayed aging, means that some people simply just age way slower than the rest of us. They appear youthful even as they get older, often staying healthy and vibrant long into their later years. Their bodies also resist age-related diseases like Alzheimer's or heart disease, and they seem to have more energy and stamina than other people their age. Scientists are still figuring out how this happens, but it's believed that certain genetic mutations might make their bodies more resilient to the usual way and tear that comes with getting older. Unlike the other conditions on this list with benefits and downsides, there's 
Uh, really no downside I can think of about this one other than being ID'd more at bars. I mean, anyway, who cares really? Studying delayed aging is important because it could give us a chance to slow down the aging process and live longer, healthier lives for the general population. If we can figure out how some people manage to stay so youthful and strong, scientists might be able to create treatments that could help everyone stay in better shape as they get older without all the usual aches, pains, and health problems. With all that said, I've been your host James and I will catch you, yes you specifically, in the next video.